this man has been there before, and he certainly looks like it. The number one middleweight contender back in a championship setting, and we've talked about this a lot, but he made himself undeniable with this run back to contention, and now he tries to rest away the goal. That's not easy, John. It's not easy to make your way back because you have been there before, and maybe it didn't work out for you, but to stay positive, to have that steel trap of a mind that allows for you to rebuild yourself makes you know when you do get back, you have a greater appreciation for the opportunity. Tonight he said he intends to finally cash in. There are a lot of high-level guys at 185 pounds, a lot of contenders waiting in the wings. This challenger knows he has to maximize this opportunity in front of him tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Sean Strickland, and you can argue his win over Israel Adesanya to rest away the belt at UFC 293 was the most improbable result of 2023, but perhaps it should not have been. Strickland has a very boxing-intensive style that is very difficult to prepare for, and he took it to Izzy right out of the shoot. That has given him a lot of confidence coming into this title defense here tonight. He is a five-round fighter, outstanding cardiovascular base, and all the self-belief in the world that he is going to leave the octagon the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Chell Sada. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickman! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, we get another look tonight at the UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. Gotta love the attitude. I mean, this man has an edge, there's no doubt about it, and not afraid to trash talk a little bit while the fight is going on. But rest assured, he has been a picture of focus this week. He understands the magnitude of this stylistic challenge, and he believes that if he can emerge victorious, he will be next in line for the middleweight title. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Nice positional control here. And now he's got the bat. Lands the ground and pound strike. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chael. Big ground and pound. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, I'm no expert, but that bomb flute choke looks locked in. It's gotta be it. It seems so tight. 
Oh, somehow he's able to leverage a hip. Looks like he's going to get out. Yeah, he did a really good job there of creating action. Getting his body off to one side as he's bridging, then back into him to release a little bit of that pressure on the Von Fucho. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Good work from the top here by Sonnet. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Sonnet, ground and pound from half guard now. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh, look at the fight. He's not going to quit on this. Good job by the champ there. Fighting back up. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> Son and Zai now closing up. Oh, Shales in half goal. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Great ground and pound by this man. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. See, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All right, it. round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think it's something that the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage to the other opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Double leg. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. 
Oh, big shots from the top. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Sonnet. Another strike gets through from the top position. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him up. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Let's go. We got a scramble here. Shales in half guard now. Oh, nice. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Oh, nice bubble look, yeah. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Block. against Denon. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Strickland. Good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Also, how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You gotta keep position over submission. Great work here from the bottom fighter. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Sonnen's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. We'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. To 
Takedown defense holds up. Strickland gets up, and somewhat surprisingly, despite having a dominant position on the ground, he wants to take this fight back to the feet. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean... All right, good back and forth action, but they pause things here, DC. They're gonna call in the ringside physician and take a look at what is a nasty cut. Well, he's gotta check on it, because you don't know if the fighter's gonna be able to continue. Fighters always want to fight, but it's up to the ringside physician to tell them if they're capable of it. <laughs> He's looking. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, yep, that's done. the end of the fight. You knew. you knew it was done right away. So the ringside physician has no choice but to stop the fight. The fans don't like it, but that fighter will live to fight another day. All right, that'll do it. We are going to show you some of the replays of what was a really exciting fight and accumulation of damage ended up bringing an end to this one, DC. It was a constant buildup of damage, John, over the course of the fight. At that point, all the targeting of the strike prompted the referee to say, hey, let me get the ringside position in here, take a look, see if this guy can continue to fight. Clean up on aisle nine as we get ready for the next fight, but congratulations to the winner. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. You play the winner by TKO and new USC. Champion of the world, Chad All right, so another big night in a career full of them for the one, the only, Chael P. Sonnen as he gets his hand raised here tonight. A little bit of a subdued celebration out of the Sonnen camp. You